everyone, it's Sam Johnson, your preparedness specialist with the American Red Cross of Alaska. Now to continue my preparedness videos, I want to share with you today how to prepare for and stay safe during an earthquake because they're not uncommon here in Alaska. So if you find yourself experiencing an earthquake, there are three basic actions you should do. Drop, cover, and hold on. So when the ground starts shaking, here's what you do. So you drop because if you try and run during an earthquake, you're going to increase your chance of injury or you're going to get knocked off your feet. You cover either your head or your neck or you get under something sturdy that will protect you from falling objects. And then finally, you hold on because you want to make sure whatever is protecting you is going to stay covering you. So if you find yourself in bed during an earthquake, we recommend staying right where you are and covering yourself with your blankets and your pillows. If you're driving a car during an earthquake, we recommend pulling over to the side of the road if you can, stopping your car, and just being aware of falling trees or falling power lines. Along with knowing what actions to take during an earthquake, we also recommend having a preparedness kit with items like a first aid kit, food and water, that'll last you a couple days because you will never know the extent of the damage of the earthquake until after it's over. We also say to put an extra tool in your preparedness kit so you can turn off the gas line to your home. For a more extensive list on all of the items we recommend putting in a preparedness kit or for other safety precautions to take before and after an earthquake, check out the link below. Thank you for watching and be sure to check back soon for more videos. And like I always like to say, drop cover and hold on. Is it over?